So hi everyone, I'm making this um, YouTube as an example of how you might do your lecture demonstration. So I'm not going to give you specific readings, but those were supposed to have been posted last week, so please, you know, get on that and make sure that you post your readings that will support your lecture. So remember that the, um, the assignment involves summarizing a theory, and then defining disability through that theoretical frame of reference and then looking at the response that might be afforded to people uh, who are considered to be disabled on the basis of that particular theory. So I'll start with um, a simple theory, Piaget's theory of cognitive development, and illustrate to you how you might proceed to do this assignment. So. Let's think about Piaget's theory of cognitive development. According to Piaget, every individual goes through a sequential prescribed set of developmental stages of cognition or thinking from early from from birth through the acquisition of formal operations. And several things are important in Piaget's thinking. One is that this is a longitudinal theory, and therefore everybody, all people, go through a normative process that is sequential and unfolds over time. Secondly, all people go through it at relatively the same age. So, for example, the oral stage for Piaget, through in that initial stage, everybody learns through... Um, oral activity, different from formal operations, where people are able to separate out their embodied experience from their thinking or, or their ideas or their ability to abstract. So if we now look at um, a definition of disability through the lens of Piaget's developmental theory of cognition, we see that disability is the late or absent attainment of a series of cognitive skills at, a, at the prescribed and appropriate age. So as example, a cognitive impairment would suggest that an individual has an embodied condition and has not met the normative abilities and skills to think in an appropriate manner for that particular age. Therefore, the definition of disability would be someone who is subnormal, not necessarily supernormal, which is interesting, and, somebody, and therefore somebody who is delayed. Whoops, let me just turn down the sound here so that I'm not getting dinged. Okay, so somebody who is not attaining and learning and exercising the cognitive skills that are defined as normative at an appropriate age. Okay, so you might want to do a bit more expansive kind of summary than I just did, but this is just an example of where to go since this is all in your book. Um, I'm also not giving you any particular readings because you already have them and everybody's had uh, developmental theories and certainly Piaget. Okay, so let's think about responses to people who are considered to, to be disabled or, or subnormal in their cognitive ability or cognitively impaired. The responses are numerous. One is that one could be identified and assessed by a professional as cognitively impaired, and that's the most likely uh, initial activity or initial response. Once that is verified through testing such as IQ testing or the Patel that Sarah is using for example, um, then what what would happen is in school or preschool or in post-school programs an individual would get specialized kinds of training and skill in order to try to catch up. If that individual could not catch up because of an embodied permanent disability, then the likelihood is that such an individual would be eligible for special services such as vocational support, supported employment, um, special education, 
maybe reading recovery, the, all those types of specialized programs that we consider necessary for particularly kids who are cognitively impaired. As an, a cognitively impaired individual moves into adulthood, there are other kinds of responses, such as group homes, such as uh, day centers, again, supported employment, and we saw some of that in the vocational um, YouTube on perhaps SILs, perhaps uh, specialized living arrangements, and so forth. Uh, there are larger responses that don't just treat individuals, such as um, legislation, protective legislation, policy, and safety net for individuals who might not necessarily be able to move into normative cognition. Okay, so that's... Uh, an example of a lecture. I'm at six minutes already, so I gave you a short lecture. Um, and remember, you have 10 minutes. So give it a try. And we look forward to hearing your lecture and learning from you. And don't forget to post your readings.